Did you know that sitting for too long could be increasing your risk for heart disease? I'm Jillian Poles, and I'm a researcher at NYU Langone Health. Today, I'll be running through a meta-analysis by Nathan Adams et al. that aims to elucidate the effects of prolonged sitting on blood pressure over time and discover how interruptions to sitting may impact these changes. Prior meta-analytic data has shown that prolonged sitting can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality over time. Unfortunately, many of us worldwide spend a lot of time sitting. Studies have shown that these deleterious effects are mediated at least in part by increases in peripheral blood pressure over time. It's thought that repeated bouts of prolonged sitting acutely expose your body to this increased blood pressure, which increases cardiovascular burden and therefore risk of cardiovascular disease. What was unknown, however, was the time course of change in blood pressure over time with prolonged sitting. In other words, how long does it take for us to see a change in blood pressure and how much? Scientists also theorize that interruptions to sitting, such as standing up and walking around, can mitigate these effects, but that remained to be proven. Considering the known relationship between prolonged sitting and cardiovascular disease, these are helpful things for clinicians and policymakers to know when establishing guidelines surrounding sedentary behavior. This meta-analysis was conducted across multiple databases in search of articles that featured adults who engaged in prolonged sitting, in other words, an hour of uninterrupted sitting. In order to establish the time course of change in blood pressure, it was also important that these studies measured their prolonged sitters for more than two time points across the sitting bout. Additionally, studies were included if there was an interruption to the sitting bout after it had began, such as walking or aerobic exercise. And these studies would have to have a control group of uninterrupted sitters for comparison. The analysis revealed positive associations between sitting duration and blood pressure, including systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure, and mean arterial pressure. Over the course of an hour of prolonged sitting, on average, Systolic blood pressure increased 0.42 millimeters of mercury. Diastolic blood pressure increased 0.24 millimeters of mercury. And mean arterial pressure increased 0.66 millimeters of mercury. The good news is that the interruptions in sitting featured in the studies did lead to significant decreases in blood pressure relative to control. There was a significant decrease in systolic and diastolic blood pressure, both about 0.24 millimeters of mercury per hour and a non-significant decrease in mean arterial pressure at a P of 0.69. So what does all of this mean? Well, now we can corroborate that prolonged sitting is associated with increases in blood pressure over time. We also now know the rates on average at which blood pressure increases across an hour of uninterrupted sitting. These may not seem like big changes to you, but remember, we know that repeated increases in blood pressure over time can compound on each other and increase mortality risk. All hope isn't lost because we also concluded that interruptions to sitting are successful in mitigating increases in blood pressure over time. The studies included in this meta-analysis utilize a wide range of sitting interruptions, including both aerobic and bodyweight exercises. So this can include pretty much anything, such as standing up, walking around, calf raises, climbing some stairs, basically anything that gets your blood pumping. My advice? Whenever you're sitting, laying down, reclining, anything that's keeping you really still for an extended period of time, keep an eye on the time and try to limit it to less than an hour. I know a lot of us are maybe seated at a desk all day for work, myself included sometimes, and it can seem difficult to find the time to be active. But you don't need a whole workout to achieve these health benefits. You can take a quick stroll around the workplace, say hi to your favorite coworker or maybe your pet if you work from home. So if you're watching this, yes you, and you've been sitting for a while, get up and try one of those sitting interruptions out. Your body will thank you for it. If you want more videos like this on root cause medicine, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.